our today's lecture we will learn how to find the equation of the ellipse when we are given with center focus and vertex point so for understanding the concept how to find the equation of the ellipse in that particular information so we will take two very interesting examples that in our first example we will learn how to find the equation of the ellipse when the center is at origin and in our second example when the center is not at origin and we also discuss about how to plot it on a graph before going to start our lecture if you don't subscribe to my channel then go and subscribe and also click the bell icon in our first example you see that we are given with these three points which is the center point which is at origin and in a focus point and vertex point if you notice that in the x coordinate the value is 0 which is same as in the center which is x coordinate and if you notice that in focus and vertex point there is a change there is a variation in a y coordinate so if we compare so first of all we have to find the value of a b c by using this given information if we compare this focus and vertex points to the general equation of the ellipse with elements of focus and vertex we find it as in general the focus in that particular case is 0 plus minus c and in a vertex point if we represent it as a v then in that particular case when the center is at origin then in general equation of the ellipse we can write it as 0 plus minus a means the variation in a y coordinate so if we compare these equations we will find the value of a and c a which is equals to 4 and the value of c which is equals to minus 3 as in this case when the focus is that type and the vertex is that type so we know that equation of the ellipse we use over here in that particular case which is x square over b square plus y square over a square which is equals to 1 because there is a variation in y axis so the major axis is y axis as we know about the value of a which is this but we are not able to find the equation of ellipse by using this because we can't know about the value of the b so for finding the value of b we are using a formula which is c square which is equals to a square minus b square so how we use this formula as we discuss this formula why we use over here and how to drive it when we discuss about the equation of the ellipse in a previous video so if you have any confusion then go and watch this video first about the elements and equation of the ellipse as we arrange this so b square which is equals to a square minus c square so if I put the values then b square which is what's the value of a which is 4 it means 4 square the sign is minus within formula the value of c is minus 3 square it will be 16 minus and for the square this is positive so it will be 9 and finally we will get the value of b square which is 7 we write it as by using ellipse ellipse equation which is x square over b square plus y square over a square which is equals to 1 so just for putting this x square divided by what's the value of b with b square which is 7 and we will write a plus sign y Square divided by a square means 4 square which is equals to 1 in the next step if we simplify further the y square divided by 16 which is equals to 1 and this is our final equation of the LF that in which we are interested to find over here with this particular information so this is a way that how to find the equation of the ellipse but now in the next step we will learn how to plot it on a graph so if we plotting this so we need further more information as you see that in a journal this 
we will find two foci points and two vertex points in in the case of the ellipse but in if you see that we are given only with only one focus point and only one vertex point so we will find the points first of all so if you see that which equation we will find over here which is this so the value of b square is 7 the value of a square which is equals to 16 so as a square which is equals to 16 means that a is equals to plus minus 4 it means that we have two vertex points which is first of all given is that 0 4 and the other point is 0 minus 4 or we can write it as 0 plus minus 4 for our focus point we find the value of c with plus minus so as you see that the focus point is 0 plus minus 3 but for further this if we write it as foci which is equals to 0 plus minus 3 as usual do just follow this but if you want to find it then you can also drive it over here that we are interested to find the value of c what's the value of a square which is 16 minus so what's the value of b square which is equals to 7 so if we simplify this so we will get the value of 9 and if we're taking a square root on both sides so c is equals to plus minus 3 that we will find over here so you can drive as just to see the focus and vertex point or just follow this step co vertices point that we already discussed in a very detailed way in our previous videos so in that case the co vertices which is plus minus b into 0 so which is plus minus b if we find the b square then the value of b which is equals to plus minus under root 7 this is a value plus minus under root 7 over 0 so this is co vertices as this is the x axis and this is y axis so we first plot the value of a vertex point which is 0 plus minus 4 means the first point is 0 and in y axis there is a point this vertex point and the other point which is this and if we call v1 and this is v2 point the other point for chi point which is 0 plus minus 3 means in x axis 0 in y axis here is our first focus point and here is our first second focus point and the other thing which is that co vertices what's the value is under root 7 under root 7 which is approximately equal to 2.65 means in x axis there is positive 2.65 something here and here is our first co vertex point or i will cv means co vertex point and the other point is on a negative side means here so here so if we join all these points that in this form so we will find the our ellipse which is this in our second example you can see that here is a center point and here is two vertex points are given and two focus points are given as you see that in a center case the center is not at origin means here is a value of h and here is a value of k means in this example the center is h k is given means here is a value of n in x coordinate and y coordinate and if you notice the vertex point and focus point that the value in a x coordinate is same in all of these points but there is a variation in y coordinates in, uh, in vertex points and y coordinate in the focus points. So it means that we will use the equation over here which is x minus h square divided by b square plus y minus k square divided by a square which is equals to 1 means the major axis is along a y axis because there is a variation in y axis so in this case 
what's the vertex and what is a focus point in that case the vertices is in the form h k plus minus a and in focus you will see at which is h k plus minus c because there is the involvement of a center with h and k values so as just to follow the steps of our previous example when center is at origin what's our first step as we have to find the value of a and find the value of c by using a vertex point and a focus point but if you see both of these points we are not able to find a value of a and c just as direct to see these points so we just take some effort to find the value of a and c as you compare the centers this so i have a value of h which is equals to 1 and k which is equals to minus 4 first of all we will find a vertex point the value of h so v is h means 1 and we will find the other two points so other two points we have this term means k plus minus a k is given which is minus 4 so we will find the first value which is 0 and the other is which is minus 8 so which term what we add or subtract that will we get a 0 and minus 8 if we will add positive 4 then it will be 0 and if we will negative 4 then it will be minus 8 so with this point we will this point and other point is 1 minus 8 so what's the value of a so a is equals to plus minus 4 or you can say that just 4 because the plus minus is in formula and in a similar way we will find a value of c by using this vertex point k plus minus c means k is given which is minus 4 so minus 4 which is equals to this term so as you see that minus 4 is given and plus under root plus under root 7 and in that case minus under root 7 so basically this is c so the value of c which is equals to plus minus under root 7 or you say that under root 7 only so now we will find the value of a which is this and c so a is equals to plus minus 4 and c which is equals to plus minus under root 7 so c square which is equals to a square minus b square just to v just to we arrange b square which is equals to a square minus c square so if i take the values a square means 4 square it means 16 minus the value of c is plus minus under root 7 so we take a square it will be 7 so b square which is equals to 9 so but we are interested to find the value of b which is equals to plus minus 3 as well just put all the values in this formula so by using ellipse equation which is already discussed at which equation we use over here so x minus what's the value of h h is 1 with square divided by b square b square is 9 the sign is plus y the sign is minus is in formula what's the value of k which is minus Four and this whole term is in square divided by what's the value of a? A is plus minus four, but a square which is equals to sixteen, which is equals to one. If we simplify further, then it will be x minus one square divided by nine plus. These two signs are plus, so y plus four square divided by sixteen, which is equals to one. And this is our final equation of the ellipse that we have to. fine so in our next step we will plot it on a graph so which points are given which is vertex point focus point and the other point which we will find is co vertex point and how to find the co vertex point in that case so it will be h plus minus b k 
means in x coordinate this vector and in this y coordinate the value of h is 1 and what's the value of b so the value of b which is find is plus minus 3 so we will write it as plus minus 3 comma what's the value of k which is minus 4 so if we simplify so we will get two values of co, uh, co vertex which is if 3 plus 1 is 4 and this value is same as this and the other point which is minus 2 minus 4 so now we are able to find to plot it on a graph so here is the center point which is 1 in x coordinate and in y coordinate it will be minus 4 means here is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and minus 4 so here is our center point what is where is vertex point 1 0 means here is our first vertex point the other vertex point is minus 5 we extend it because we need this point 1 and minus 8 means here this is my second vertex point now we plot it focus points as the under root 7 is approximately equals to 2.65 and if we put the value over here this point gives a value which is minus 1.35 and this value will give minus 6.65 okay so plot it first of all 1 and minus 1.35 means here is up my first focus point and other one is minus 6.65 means here is something which is my second focus point the co vertices which is this means 4 if there is 1 2 3 4 and minus 4 means something here this is first co vertex point and the other one is that minus 1 and minus 2 and this is over here and this is second co vertex point and if we join our vertex and co vertex points so we find the ellipse just like this form so this ellipse of equation that we will find here which is this means x minus 1 square divided by 9 plus y plus 4 square over 16 which is equals to 1 so in this way we will find the equation of the ellipse when we are given with center vertex and focus point and we also learn how to plot it on a graph so if you like this then don't forget to subscribe like comment and share